here to help no cut. I got us some tea from the clubhouse streets, rolled up over in the trenches at the anonymous show, seen Wagner and, and him, and he was talking about, you know, a whole bunch of little politics on clubhouse. You know, they got they Zeus network thing going for sure. He say everybody that think it's just talk, y'all got another thing coming. They actually spoke to the people already, so that is in works. Shout out to the trenches, yeah, do y'all thing, do y'all thing. They talked a little bit, how people just behave like with the Kanye interview. Wolf discussing how Tokyo Vanity doxed her and all of this crazy stuff. You know, they still beefing with the people on the Chicago and the Alabama side. And you know, it's just a lot going on over there as usual. But we gonna go on and hop into this audio. Make sure you like comment and tell your girl what you think make sure you subscribe and tap that bell that way you get the notification and you can get that tea when we bring it to you in the clubhouse streets all right gang let's get to it <music> Shout by Clubhouse, you do that. Leave me the fuck out of it, nigga. Y'all can't troll me with nothing I ever did, bro. Anytime I feel like a motherfucker want to hold some shit over my head, y'all know I'm going to talk about it before a nigga can talk about anything on me, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't have an image to uphold on this app, nigga. I'm not running around acting like I'm gangster. I'm not running around acting like I didn't kill niggas. That's y'all. Y'all do that lame ass shit. I'm not doing that shit. So if that's the life that y'all choose to live and y'all feel like y'all gotta be the big bad wolves, address the niggas in y'all towns before y'all feel like y'all gonna pull up on clubhouse niggas. For what? For what? It's too much dicky in going on in this app, bro, and that shit gotta stop, bro. That shit is not fucking cool. The shit that niggas fucking glorify on this app is not fucking cool. That shit is lame as fuck. All this tough ass clubhouse shit is fucking bogus, bro. You niggas do that shit for y'all, bro. Leave me the fuck out of it, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm willing to stand on anything I ever did, anything I ever said. I'm willing to stand on on this fucking app, bro. I don't need to be gangster to do that. I don't need to be gangster to be a man and say I can defend myself. That's not fucking gangster. That's just being a man, bro. It's the difference between being a man and fucking being a clubhouse gangster, bro. Nigga Tate Bando running around hating on me, talking about, oh yeah, well, well yeah, he he lit his fuck on the app, but you know, um, on YouTube, on YouTube, he not on there like that. Tate, I'm on YouTube way more than you, stupid. I don't give a fuck about no fucking YouTube. Who up here is getting paid off of YouTube? If you getting paid off of YouTube, put a one in the chat. If anybody in this room is getting paid off of YouTube and they, and they making real money off YouTube, put a one in the chat. That's fucking three people. Three people in a room full of three hundred and fucking five people is making real money off YouTube. We don't give a fuck about no fucking YouTube, nigga. Y'all niggas post that out there. Y'all monetize our voices. I don't give a fuck. I'm not trying to get no YouTube chat. You up here in a fucking room of six people dick sucking me, talking about, oh, he ain't lit on, on Clubhouse, but he not lit on YouTube, nigga. Like I said, I'm on YouTube way more than you, nigga. Type in him on YouTube. Type in him Clubhouse on YouTube and see what pop up. Then type in Tay Bando Clubhouse and see what pop up. And here's then, the type in he, then type in him with three fucking, with two threes, right? Type in him with two threes and see what pop up. Who pop up more, me or Tay Bando? He's a fucking here's clown, a, nigga. Here's a, here's a thing, him. They'll come on the app and be like, yeah, oh, they got his clubhouse. They think they lit because they on clubhouse. And they, they, they talking all this shit because they on clubhouse. They ain't written, written, lit in real life. Nigga, I ain't bumping into you nowhere that I go. I don't see you in the bank. 
And I don't see you in any of the Michelin star restaurants that I like to lounge in. I'm not seeing you there. However, I'm on Clubhouse, nigga, and you on Clubhouse hating on me because I'm on Clubhouse. You on Clubhouse in a room talking to a room full of three people about how mad you are about us being in a room full of 300 people. How you sound? You sound like a hater. You need to either get your money up or get your business going because I don't focus on no niggas I don't give a fuck about. I don't think about them at all. That's crazy. When I put this app down, bro, I don't give a fuck about none of you niggas, bro. I put this app down. I don't, yo, I be outside, going outside every week, and y'all follow me on the gram. Y'all see me eating good, living life, enjoying life, having fun, bro. I have fun, bro. I've never accidentally ran into not one of you niggas, bro. I ran into one nigga, and I was bitch ass Bray at the fucking airport. Outside of that, everyone I seen on this bitch was on purpose. The clubhouse community is so fucking small, you niggas act like this y'all reality, like y'all living in this bitch or something, bro. Pure dog, no cut. If you outside and you living your life, bro, this app do not fucking matter in the real world, bro. Y'all make it matter in the real world. Y'all be so invested in this shit that y'all can't put this bitch down, bro. Y'all put down clubhouse for a week, y'all gonna feel like y'all life is over. Bro, niggas fuck with me off just me being me, bro. My personality, bro, how I am, bro. That's why niggas fuck with me. Niggas don't fuck with me because I need to come up here and do X, Y, and Z for fucking clubhouse. You niggas got some fucking hit and hate in y'all fucking heart to the fact that y'all get jealous off a nigga on the internet about a fucking room. And people coming to come fuck with a nigga in a room. You niggas is weird. Y'all niggas is so delusional that even when Kanye came on the app, y'all sat up there and act like niggas orchestrated that on some fake shit. Mm-hmm. Niggas was up there talking. Oh, them niggas wasn't talking to Kanye. Them niggas was talking to replays. That wasn't Kanye for real on the app. Niggas could never do that. Y'all niggas is so small. Oh, they can't that's... get up and they'll be like, oh, them niggas is fans. They fiending. They sucking wag dick. They fiending to get on stage. They want to be. Either way, they want to they wanna fucking pinpoint because they mad because they can't be in the position you in. I requested the trenches. The trenches didn't ask me shit. I requested the trenches show up. Respectfully. Yo, yo, uh, these niggas is so fucked up in the head that like they feel like because they can't do something or because they're not directly attached to something or they haven't done something that um <laughs> that it's impossible. They act like it's impossible for you to get Kanye on the app. Oh my God, this nigga Wack was faking. He had a recording. It was a recording. Nigga, I, talk was this thing every day. I talk this thing every day, bro. Like it's just like fuck it ain't. We. See, this is what they got to understand. I'm really not supposed to be on the app, right? I'm really for real, right? No, I, 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 I told I'm, you that. You, you showed yeah, me I'm, your crib. I said, yo, you, you're not supposed to be on Clubhouse. You bugging yeah. out. I told you that straight up. But I fuck with my people, right? I be feeling like it's people down there. I fuck with people I can help. Maybe resources I can give some plugs to. They can make their life better, whatever. I don't feel like because I made a bunch of money and I'm up there and, and I'm better than the people down here because I come from down here and still it's more of my people still down here than up there in real life so you know you know I don't come on this motherfucker talking about what I got how much the flashing money and Jerry I don't do that shit I just come big on bond with the people so when it comes to that type of shit my normal is probably a little different you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I deal with different people. You know what I mean? So, calling yeah, yeah, that's just, you know, we talk every motherfucking day. That's just normal shit. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. To you, to you, that's normal, right? But to these motherfuckers on the app that just so, like, got hate filled, yeah. these motherfuckers act right. like, act like you just walked on water. Like you fucking parted the Red Sea. You Moses in this bitch right now. This shit is crazy. You Moses in this bitch right now. It's like, it's like, yo, like, they gonna find the reason that to knock it. That's to it. knock it. That's it. Niggas gonna find a reason find to the knock reason it. Like damn, why? Why can never bring Kanye to the app? This shit is fake. Oh my god, these niggas was on a fucking recording talking to a recording. These niggas took another Yay interview and was up there playing it as if it was some real shit. You niggas is weird as fuck on this bitch, bro. I swear to God, y'all niggas is weird. <laughs> yeah, y'all just wake up every day hating on the next man over numbers in a room. That's all y'all niggas is mad about over numbers in a room and being relevant on a fucking app that don't matter, bro. 
Like, this shit is disgusting, bro. Y'all niggas is so fucked up, bro. This, y- y- like, why y'all be so upset? Like, it's motherfuckers on this bitch that got millions of fucking dollars, bro. Millions of dollars. Niggas is fucking top five fucking celebrities on in, like, fucking real world or some shit, bro. Real musicians. Niggas that got real motion up here. And y'all mad about Clubhouse Clout. Like, how dumb do y'all niggas sound, bro? Hey, I don't think they realize that that man is about to run for the president of the United States. I bring him to clubhouse to answer some questions. The nigga answered his first presidential question on clubhouse, like literally. It's real shit, and motherfuckers was a part of that. Like, yo, like you know, nigga was a part of that. Like, niggas on stage was a part of that. I came over here because I fuck with the trenches. I bonded with the trenches. So whatever I do, I'm always gonna. I would have been a bitch ass nigga to be like, okay, I fuck with y'all on this, this, and this. But then when it come to that. You know, now I got amnesia. That just ain't how I move. I'm old school with it. If I'm with you, I'm with you. If nigga, if it's on, it's on. If it's off, it's off. If I'm doing it, y'all doing it. That's just what it and, was. And, you know and that's mean? the and that's the thing, whack that I feel like Tay was missing, right? Because I feel like Tay Tay could get he could get some people in a room. Tay could get a lit stage. He could get. Mm-hmm the audience and get the crowd but what Tay, what happens is Tay forgets that every other time that he's not having that he's on our stage and he's chilling mm-hmm. with us and popping shit with us he'll go get that stage he'll get a lit room we'll go up there we support we do all of everything we're supposed to do and then he'll turn around and say yeah I got the lit room and the next time I'm getting the audience I ain't bringing nobody up none of y'all good none of y'all gonna get on the stage and be with me and yeah, it's just gonna be me and start okay. coming in and then turning in like oh yeah all y'all mm-hmm. just dick sucking all of y'all you just start you 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 didn't even budge your career. You didn't even establish a pattern of what it is that you're doing yet. Like you know, and it's a whole community of people that's willing to support you. But you're already telling us that you're gonna shit on us as soon as you get on. Yeah, and then you get mad because we don't support. You niggas be planning the term before you even get lit. Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> niggas like Tay gotta pray for a celebrity to die to get a lit room, bro. This is the type of niggas we talk about. You got it. Your littest room was when fucking takeoff passed. That was your littest room. You was itching to come on the app and come make a room, bro. Now all that little fucking clout that you got is fucking dead. Now you out here running around with the couch hoes in the middle of the night talking shit about me. And what the fuck we doing over here, bro? You niggas is weird, bro. Y'all niggas is weird, bro. I don't give a fuck if I like a nigga, don't like a nigga. If somebody do some dope shit, I'm going to tell you you did some dope shit. And then another thing, for the record, Wack ain't just telling the trenches we about to do this TV shit. These these individuals on this stage, I put them on the phone with the owner of Zeus, not no fucking motherfucking broker. Not no, they, they spoke to the owner of Zeus Network. All on my three-way. I let them have a conversation with him. Let them break down what it is, what it ain't. So that's definitely happening. So this ain't whack telling them. They actually spoke. Heem levels actually spoke to the individual. So, you know, that's what that is. I'm hearing the whole kind of shit. Whack selling them a dream. Like, I'm just saying some shit. He, he's thinking this is crazy. I got but some again, right? I got some But content. once again. The owner is my, that's my friend. Like, that's, that's my little homie. Like, you know, so, level shit. Y'all thought you didn't record that shit? You should have recorded that shit. No, the, the people, the people heard it, man. I think it's a hate train. We got uh, <laughs> Z-list celebrity, Tokyo Vanity. Uh, oh, ain't been shit. relevant since forever. And we got fell media personality, Tay Bando. Um, here's, here's some content from last night. Bear with my audio.
full outside blue face. Like, what's Wait, whack. Are we talking about this young lady and me and Chinky PTR? I don't know who that. Who is that? I you know who know. that is, whack? That's Tokyo. I don't know that. Oh, god damn. <laughs> oh, that's the one I seen. That's the one. Yeah. 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 That you had to pack oh. up that day because she came and thought she was cool with you because she was thinking she cool with, with 21. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Got packed the a- fuck up. I didn't even know the bit, but I seen some video of her getting whooped on behind a hamburger. Yeah, she just got her ass beat because she didn't want to. She didn't want to throw her burger away, and they trying to watch yeah, her weight. Yeah, I see that. Shit. She got mad, right? Mm-hmm. She got mad. She got upset. She raged she, out because they tried yeah. to tell her to stop eating. Totally I don't want no smoke with her. She, I don't want no pot whack. I'm telling you that now. If y'all ever hear trenches, anybody, you ever see me nowhere and said Tokyo charged at me and I ran, believe it. It's the truth. I'm not. <laughs> I'm out. Hell no. No, I'm not fighting that bitch. No, it's not going down. No, unless I'm with a crew and we going to jump her. She's winning. No, she's not done. She's not charging at me. You ever seen me? You ever seen a man stand up against a rhino? No, they get the fuck out the way. Let them charge. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo, it's like, y'all niggas are such haters. Like, y'all say anything to discredit a motherfucker, you feel like he's in a better position about you. Yo, I'm really about to get the fuck off. I'm about to get the fuck off Clubhouse, man. You niggas got it, man. Because, like, the, the lengths y'all go for the fucking metaverse is just disgusting. Like, it's like, y'all motherfuckers want clout so bad, like, y'all fuck it up. Niggas be up mad as fuck every day. Like, imagine just getting hate because niggas just genuinely fuck with you. That shit is weird. Why don't y'all niggas change y'all personalities, nigga? If y'all niggas making rooms and ain't nobody pulling, I ain't asked nobody to come in this room. I ain't asked nobody to shut down a room. I ain't asked nobody to do nothing, bro. Niggas just pull up because they fuck with you, bro. It's just genuine connection. That's all it is. You niggas be so hurt because y'all be making these dead ass rooms after dead ass rooms after dead ass. Here, dub, no cut. Gangster, I'm not coming on this app portraying to be something I'm not. I'm not coming on the app acting like I'm the richest nigga in the world. I don't even like talking money talk to you niggas. I really even do that. And I know I'm more better off than a lot of people. But I don't even feel right doing that shit. I just come on the app and I just chill and I just have a good time. I laugh. I troll. I use the app for what it's for. It's for entertainment. Entertainment. You niggas is so invested in this shit. This shit took over your real life. Y'all niggas is fucked up. Y'all don't get a lit. Y'all have a bad day. Go ahead, Wolf. Speaking of entertainment, he we got a we got a random sucker in the chat, right? That said, "Oh, whole time Tokyo doing better than them. It's like losers unite." That may be true, he right? Tokyo we may we may hold on, hold on, hold on, he hold on, whack, hold on. We may be losers, right? But why would Tokyo leave her celebrity lifestyle, D-list lifestyle, getting three hundred dollars an episode on Love and Hip Hop? Why would she take away her celebrity time to come on this app and talk about us in our little teeny old little YouTube? Why would she take her rich ass time to spend it dick sucking the trenches? Tell me that, Carmel. You wanna come up here and tell us? You wanna tell us why? Because if I'm getting money and I'm living better than you, Carmel, I'm not thinking about you, Carmel. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm rich. I just got on that bitch ass whoop. I just packed that bitch up. That's the bitch drive a waffle truck. Not a waffle truck, whack. She drive a waffle truck. She don't uh, drive a waffle truck. I'm telling you, she sells food, waffles, and chicken out of a purple waffle truck. I promise oh, you. Oh, man. Man, we get cheese a weirdo. Oh, man. Oh, this little one told me that she participated in the 1992 rides, but she forgot she was 36, so that made her five years old. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers is crazy. Bitch. Hey, hey, you hey, can't I, even uh, count a waffle uh, truck. That's what's doing better than me, a waffle truck? She got a waffle We don't eat waffles in New York City. We got to go. We not standing around fucking picking that waffles, bitch. We is making money. We is outside at work. We got to go. We got to get on trains. We got to get on the bus. We got to move in a New York City minute, bitch. We is not stopping to eat no fucking waffles. We eat fucking glizzies. And shit you can hold in your hand and walk with, bitch. Hey, listen. Yeah, we'll go to the red. We'll go to the red. 
mind with me, um, scroll to chapter um, 7, verse 6, um, Ephelations, section 6. Um, let's go on Tay Bando Clubhouse on YouTube. First thing that pops up, WAC 100 versus Tay Bando aftermath and threats. Next one, WAC 100 exposes Tay Bando with footage from the incident. Y'all can follow along. Make sure y'all read it. Make sure y'all got your Bibles out on YouTube. Next one, Bullets God eats trolls and exposes Clubhouse troll Tay Bando. Next one, Ion X gets Tay Bando's Clubhouse Club deleted after he threatens his mother. Next one, WAC 100 versus Tay Bando. Next one, WAC 100 versus Tay Bando. Next one, WAC 100 versus Tay Bando versus Teddy Roosevelt. Next one. Damn. What the fuck, Tay? He this don't got no of his own content. He you don't ask people to get on the replay. You harass niggas for replays. You's a bitch. That's what we talking about, Tay. That's why you said you on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, what's the title with Aya? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Whack 100 gets Tay Bando's club deleted. <laughs> what the fuck? This, 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 this type of, yo, you don't even got no good titles, bro. Your titles is show you a bitch. Next yo. one, hey, everyone, please um, turn with me to page two. Um, let's go to um, Ephesians chapter 7, verse um, 18. Type in Heem and type in Clubhouse. <laughs> and let's see what pops up. <laughs> Heem takes over trenches. Heem clowns Freddy for faking a car accident. Um, Whack 100 and Heem from the um, roast, roast Freddy. Next one. Heem levels and Whack clear the air on what happens with Wolf and Indigo. Next one. The three juggernauts, Whack, Heem, and Levels from the trenches officially ran Freddy Roosevelt off the app. What is we talking about, Tay? Your titles ain't even fucking with you. You's a bitch. Oh, shit. God damn. I ain't make not one title on this motherfucker. N- n- niggas posting you and don't even fuck with you. They trolling you. You so caught up over this dumbass fucking... Yo, this nigga is stupid, bro. Like, you want to keep going? Hey, listen, just for fun, let's change the H-E-E-M and let's type in H-3-3-M on YouTube. Let's see what pops up. Turn to chapter 8, y'all. Turn to chapter 8. This nigga is crazy. Like, Tay, what is we talking about, Tay? Let's not let's not even put in the Googles for levels because that's a whole... <laughs> let's that's, not even do, do that levels. all day. Let's not even do Wolf. Like, what we is we talking about? do that shit all about? day. Next. Like, Whack and Heem call Simply Wick. Next one. Meezy calling Heem Big Daddy. Next, like, yo, I don't even want to keep going, man. You niggas is crazy. Y'all got to stop hating on niggas, bro. Don't type in levels on Clubhouse. Oh, that shit going to go crazy. You niggas is some straight dick eaters, and y'all need a life, bro. Stop hating, bro. Do something positive with your day. Stop coming on the app to come dick suck the next man and try to discredit niggas because you feel like you a bozo. Because you make a room and niggas don't pull up on you, you feel like you somewhat less of a man, so you got to come on here and hate on the next man about what? Nothing. You niggas is crazy. Crazy. Clubhouse fucking up y'all lives, bro. That's why some of y'all ain't put down this app since y'all fucking started. Some of y'all can't even put down an app for 24 hours. I swear to God, you act like you did. You put down an app for 24 hours, your life is over. The app is fucking dead. You don't give a fuck. When the last time some of y'all fucking favorite content creators took a break off this bitch for a meeting? Went on vacation. You niggas love this app so much, y'all have box in a room, and y'all turned out vagina to fucking pig up. Turning down vagina and to pick up is crazy. <laughs> Turning down vagina <laughs> to pick up is crazy. Oh shit. Y'all niggas is on y'all clout highs. Like, we niggas been doing this for a long time, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all gotta get off this clout high y'all on, bro. Y'all gotta get off this hate, bro. Just live y'all life, bro. I swear to God, I'm not worried about none of you niggas. I don't have ops on Clubhouse, bro. I don't have ops in a fucking metaverse. I troll you niggas. Then I get off and I go chill and mind my business. Y'all niggas is catching boats 
fucking planes, motherfucking ride a bike, niggas fucking ride, yo, know, <laughs> they'll go pull up on Clubhouse niggas for what, bro, what happened to all the ops in y'all niggas cities, bro? You niggas will catch a ferry to go pull up on a clubhouse off to say, oh, I pulled up on this nigga. Y'all niggas is crazy. What's the last time you niggas read a book? Y'all, y'all went and fucking went on a date, went to fucking movies, went out to the club. Shit, watch some porn, beat your dick, do something. Y'all is too invested in this shit. This shit eating you up, up. Yo, you know how many sub... Yo, you know how many sub-tweets you niggas be putting in y'all titles every day? Hey, do y'all be watching the hallway sometimes? Sometimes I just be scrolling. Sometimes I'll get on a burner and I'll just scroll through the hallway and just watch all the sub-tweets in direct response to niggas' rooms. Y'all be seeing that shit? You niggas is nasty work, bro. Y'all gotta stop. This shit is not that real. I promise you, it's going to be okay. You put down an app for 24 hours, it's going to be okay. I promise you. Ain't nothing going to happen to you. You're not going to die. You're going to be okay. This shit is fucking nuts, man. Hey, A levels. A levels. Wolf Chinky. Level. Mm hmm. Man. What y'all gotta say about this shit, man? I don't even want to keep talking on these niggas, bro. Is this it's certified? My mission, my mission. Let me give y'all. Let me give y'all my backstory, cause so I don't know why me and Tokyo are going at it. The only reason why I'm under Tokyo's skin is cause she says she don't know me. Now she knows me. She done doxed me. Found everything else out about me. I thought that she was this D-list celebrity somehow that don't got no time for the trenches. She don't know who who we are. Know who I am. The only reason why I spoke up to Tokyo is cause she was making fun of Dino, talking about he's in a wheelchair and he don't got no legs and all of this other shit. Right? You come to Dino space. And go off of him about a disability that you think he has. That's weird. We don't stand on that. So I called you out. You said you didn't know me. So I made you get to know me. Not only do you know me, you and all your friends know me. But so what? That was the mission, bitch. So y'all lost. <laughs> now, because now you know me. Now you know everything about me. And it's not a secret. <laughs> come up here just like he. We don't come up here pretending to be nobody that we not. I work. We all we all work and hustle and fucking get money. We all fucking chill and kick it and pop shit and fucking drink liquor and fucking be normal with each fucking other. It's y'all yeah, niggas that yeah, act yeah, weird okay. and want to fucking present yourselves as something that you're not. See, this is me. This is who I am. And this is you. This is who you are. This is you. And as long as we start taking accountability of who we are and... and, and you know, what we do around here, guess what? Nobody's offended, and that's just that on that. Don't come over here bothering me. I don't go over there bothering you. Now you know who I am. When you see me, don't say nothing to me, and don't bother me, and I won't bother you. So whoever's in here that's one of Toke's dick suckers, go around and tell her that. Clip it. Tell her that. Don't bother me no more, and I won't bother you. But now you know who I am. So thank you. That was the mission. Mission completed. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. Heem. Yeah. Yeah, man. This shit is fucking crazy. And all you niggas, because, like, there's been a lot of niggas that have been trolling lately. And, like, you know, niggas love to bring up the situation. Like, oh, yeah, a nigga pulled up on your house. A nigga pulled up on your house. First of all, I don't live there. But he didn't so do I'm anything, Heem. A nigga that <laughs> pulls up to your house and don't do anything... Nigga, is, he went on a fucking blank mission. Why did you go? Did you do anything? No, that shit be fucking lame as hell. That same nigga put him to my house to do nothing, to take pictures. He's a bitch. We know that. Like, I, I, I said it. I, I think he did. Because uh, ain't no real nigga, ain't no street nigga gonna pull up on no, on no bitch trying to get some straightening. Ain't, ain't no, no real nigga gonna do that. That's some shit a bitch do, right? So that's just what it is. Niggas would run around and try to troll you and try to make it seem like, oh, he, uh, he's a bitch, nigga, put him in. Nigga, you didn't even pull up to my spot, nigga. The fuck? How you pull up and then call me and say, 
like, yeah, I'm, I'm outside. Nigga, what? Nigga, that, that's not no real shit. That's not no street shit. That's not what real niggas do. That nigga's a bitch, and I said it. Kinky did. Do something. Come, come, do something. Come here again, nigga. Fuck. I mean, I, ain't nobody gonna do nothing. I ain't, I ain't been touched yet. Niggas just run their mouths. That shit be annoying as fuck. Niggas is booty, pussy. Say it with me. Booty, pussy. Stop playing. Booty, y'all niggas pussy. think y'all cool. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all niggas think y'all cool because y'all pulling up to a nigga house that don't even live there, that ain't, it don't even reside there. That's not where that man lives. What the fuck? That's like, what? You don't get no fucking brownie points for that. You niggas don't get no cool points for that. The fuck? You niggas is lame as hell for real. But yeah, he... I'm going to tell you bitch ass niggas something like this. You niggas TF third, uh, you bitch ass crack stars. Uh, I'm saying you bitch ass niggas names, man. I'm closing the year out. It's almost New Year's. I'm closing the year out half a ticket up, man. It ain't nothing for me to start throwing my bag around putting on you bitch ass niggas heads, getting you niggas touched in real life, man. I'm tired of all the hating. All you niggas do. I be creeping in and out of these rooms on my burner. All you niggas do is dick suck. Every room, y'all got something about us. You niggas need to get some fucking money, man. Fuck this. I've never been on the app where I hear a bunch of hate. Niggas hating on this nigga. Get some money. Tap in and get some money, man. You niggas, all that hating ain't gonna get you on. It's gonna get you knocked off, man. Get y'all some motherfucking money, man. I'm not playing with none of you niggas. I'm going to start throwing my motherfucking bag around on you bitch ass niggas heads and flying y'all bitches out. That's all I'm going to do. Fucking your bitch in real life. We going to take it to Instagram and some of you niggas got Facebook. I'm going to find out who you in love with. I'm going to find out your bitch. I'm going to fly your bitch out, man. Show her a good time. I'm not about to sit up here and argue. I ain't even buying no more wires. I ain't about to argue with you niggas. I ain't about to do none of that. I'm gonna put some motherfucking money on your motherfucking head and fuck your bitch, nigga. I'm gonna make you niggas come outside, man. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Stop fucking hating. Stop sucking dick on a late night, man. <laughs> And this shit, this shit's so crazy. And like to all you dicky and ass trolls that want to try to use a weird ass situation, why don't y'all let me? Know, why don't y'all dox me and let me know what time y'all gonna be at my place? And I'll call my peoples and let them know y'all coming. <laughs> don't just pull up in the middle of the fucking day. Let me know what time y'all gonna be there, and I'll call my peoples. Let me know. Let me let them know what time you coming, and we'll see how that go for one of you niggas. Y'all niggas is weird as fuck, bro. Y'all niggas just be on clubhouse internalizing this shit. This shit is y'all lives, bro. Y'all is disgusting. Disgusting in a motherfucker. All you motherfuckers want to do is suck dick, troll, and dick ride in a metaverse. I never seen so many dick riders in my life, bro. Niggas will get cool with you just for fucking clout. That's all you motherfuckers want. That's why I don't play y'all too close. That's why I turn all you motherfuckers into content, because I know y'all just clout chasing. Before I let a motherfucker clout chase off for free and just go suck dick this and ride the next dick, nigga, I'm going to turn you into content. I'm going to make you dance, bitch. You're going to dance for this clout. No, we going to make you famous. Dance. You're going to dance for this clout. You want to be famous, you're going to dance, bitch. You niggas is sickening, bro. Niggas is twisted. Niggas is sadistic. Niggas is all types of shit, bro. I'm tired of you niggas. All y'all niggas want to do is overly troll and suck dick. I need some fucking lives. Y'all need a job, man. You need a job. Tap in, man. You need something. Tap in. I got you. I promise. But the way you niggas is going about trying to get some clout on this app ain't it. I know it hurts your hearts when y'all click start a room and it be fucking 15 motherfuckers in that bitch. I know it hurts your heart. I know that shit hurt, bro. I know that shit hurt. I understand it. But that ain't no reason to want to fucking wish death on a nigga. That's crazy. Y'all want a nigga to die? Because niggas ain't fucking with y'all? Oh my god, speaking of fucking with y'all, Levels, I just got a back channel from Tone. He said he was in the elevator on Clubhouse and this guy was like, you're on Clubhouse? That sounds like Levels. <laughs> oh 
Not niggas, not niggas. Is that levels from Clubhouse? Is that levels from Clubhouse? From Clubhouse. Nigga said that sound like levels. But wait, he said he asked him his name and the nigga said his name is Drew. Oh, no, 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 before, before we let one of you niggas come leech off a of clout, we gonna make you dance, bitch. That's it. You gonna dance like a motherfucker. Man, like dance like a stripper. Y'all nigga, all y'all niggas gonna do is spin niggas. Y'all gonna come get some clout, try to get lit, then turn, bro. It happens every time, bro. They get packed the fuck they up. They get packed the fuck up. That should be fun to see. You know what I mean, niggas? We done packed up in this bitch. You know what I mean, niggas thought they was bigger than the motherfucking program got packed the fuck up. I scroll down the hallway, I be feeling bad for a lot of you niggas, man. Leave me alone, man. And all y'all weird ass niggas, bro, stop getting it. Get out that car, nigga. Stop riding around trying to piggyback off the next nigga, what the next, another nigga went through. Like, y'all niggas is weird as hell. Y'all don't got nothing going for yourselves. Y'all just some dick eaters on Clubhouse, bro. I get it. This y'all life. Look that shit. Niggas want an image so bad. Tay, you learned your lesson the first time when I on balled you up like a bitch in the metaverse and made you get on your knees, bitch. He made you get on your motherfucking knees. And you asked him if he wanted fucking fast or slow. That's what you asked the nigga. You asked the nigga Ion if he wanted fast or slow when you got on your fucking knees. Now all of a sudden, you run around here talking crazy to everyone. You sat up there and apologized, bro. I, I got to keep reminding this nigga of like how he fucking feel like he just so tough. Like How do this nigga feel like he's so tough? He on here talking about he going to dox my mother, he going to post my mother, he going to do all this shit, nigga. That's old. Niggas been done that a year ago, bro. We need some new shit. You run around off old drama, nigga. We need some new shit. Let's talk about how you was apologizing like a bitch. Do I got to keep reminding you of who you really is? Do I even got to play the content of you sucking that man dick like that? Because that nigga got it in his phone. I ain't going to lie. He got it in his phone and you was looking crazy. I could play it. I could remind you because I know you went here on the burner. And then after this, you're going to make your own dead-ass room, trying to troll, talking about nothing. And ain't nobody going to show up. Just like the last time you threw a nigga's name in the title, and it was fucking 60 people in that bitch. You need a new career, bro. Don't you want to be a rapper or something? Why don't you stick to that? Why don't you go pop, lock, and drop it or something? Because Clubhouse clearly ain't working for you, my boy. You got to vent to the couch hoes about niggas in the middle of the night. You hurt. You hurt than a motherfucker. But, um, let me find this fucking clip for y'all, man. This is crazy. Let me find y'all this bando clip. These are the type of niggas that be talking gangster to niggas, bro. This is crazy. Hold on, let me find this bando clip, man. But yeah, Chinky, what you think about all this shit that's going on, man? You think we've been giving out too much free clout? It's just a lot of certified dick suckers, you know, running around the app, sucking dick, you know. You know, you know how that shit go in, you know, regular shit, you know. Niggas, you know, that's what they do around here in the metaverse. They just suck dick, so, you know, I had to pack a nigga up, you know. He made me get out, you know, get in my bag. I had to pack him up earlier today, you know, just a little straightening, but, you know, I like packing the niggas up, he, like, there's something about packing a nigga up. You hoes, y'all be boring for real. Like, when I pack a nigga up, it just make me feel like, yeah, like, yeah, I did my big one on you on you weird-ass niggas. Because y'all niggas love to try to, you know, get big with y'all with y'all voices and with y'all mics and screaming y'all phones and shit. You feel me? So when I pack a nigga up, it just make me feel like, yeah, I make that nigga feel like a bitch. You know? You know, so I, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. 
I don't care about the reaction. Like, once you get mad, like, I don't care what you say. Like, it doesn't matter what you do after. Like, I've already won. You're yeah, mad. You're like, upset. You're, you're upset. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving on. And you're, like, literally making this. You're making time out of your life and time out of your day to dedicate it to me. Mm-hmm. That is the most, yeah. that is the highest compliment to me. Mm-hmm. This, 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 this the nigga that be talking tough, yo. I don't know, bro. Oh, Lord, I mean... This, this, this the nigga that be talking tough, talking about he gonna dox me. Now he talking about he gonna pull up to my people's crib and he gonna act tough and all this shit. This the type of nigga, bro. This, this, this the nigga right here. I don't know, but I'm smart. So, like, bro, I just want all this shit to be done. So, if you like anything I said, that thing with your mom, that's serious, bro. Just be saying I'm gonna call her. And it really hurts you like that, bro. I apologize, bro. I just, I don't need no more extra shit, bro. It, it's so, you already took the social media. You don't need to go no further, bro. I don't know what's, what's going on. But I apologize for all that shit I said about your mom. Like, this is the type of nigga that's talking tough to me now, bro. Now he talking gangster. Say he gonna pull up on my mother in real life. You literally sat up there on a, in the metaverse. And the nigga made you apologize like a bitch. Took your club, took your clout, took everything from you, right? Just from you saying you was going to call a nigga's mother. Bitch. He now you out here running around saying you going to post my mother, you going to pull up, and you going to pull up to the crib. Nigga, tell you, let me know when you're going to be at my crib, bro. You already doxed me. You got my number. You sent me my addy. Let me know when you're going to be at the crib so I can call my peoples. Let me know a time and a place and, and, and see if you pull up. <laughs> 